Hello, Steve White, Trip Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89, Star Trek Gatekeeper. Um, I thought I should pay respects to Harold Livingston, who died aged 97. He was one of the screenwriters of Star Trek The Motion Picture, one of my, one of my favourite all-time films and my favourite Star Trek film, one of the best science fiction films ever written. Um, he um, worked along with Alan Dean Foster and Gene Roddenberry in creating the story or the script. I can't remember exactly who did what now. This is really bad, but it's been a while. Um... Yeah, um, I saw a lot of interviews with him. He 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 never romanticised the writing process of that film. There were a lot of problems, um, but he did contribute to one of the greatest science fiction films ever made and one of my favourites, so I have to give him some respect. And, like, I've seen a lot of interviews with him, and he was interesting. Um, and one of the interesting things I found, I mean, I didn't realise he... Um, wrote um, Mission Impossible and The Million Dollar Man. So you sort of focus just on people's Star Trek credits and forget the other things they did. He also is one of the founders of the Israeli Air Force and um, was involved in a lot of um, missions in the 40s with that, which I didn't know about. So he had some life experience, which is why some of these writers who were writing the original Star Trek created really great stories, because they understood humanity. They fought in wars, they dealt with human drama and human trauma and real problems and they had a real perspective unlike current day writers who I won't even get into but um like Gene Roddenberry fought in the second world war and was a policeman on the LA um, PD beat and you know these people understood life and and just they really understood how to create stories and pull from real life experiences and really say something profound um unlike some other people who really shouldn't be writing Star Trek. So it's sad to see one of the greats go. Um, I mean, we not long ago lost um, Douglas Trumbull, who did um, the effects. So some of these people I was kind of hoping to meet at a convention sometime, and obviously I'll never get to meet them. Um, but yeah, um, this is sad, and I just wanted to pay my respects, and I'm just going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, if you love Star Trek The Motion Picture, feel free to share that with me. Um, we've just had the remastered um, edition, which was interesting. had some flaws with some of the scenes and some of the effects, but for the most part, it showed the film some respect and has sort of helped create another version of it that um, is in HD for you know longevity and for variety. So ultimately, the, sh the film is getting s more respect as it's ageing, I think. So I'm kind of glad... And his work will always sort of, you know, be tied to that film. So, yeah. Oh, RIP, Harold. Bye.